Have you ever wondered how the balancing system in the front load washing machine works? I will tell you this in detail, which will help you fix your washer if it's bouncing or out of balance. In front of me are two types of washing machines. This is a non-inverter washing machine in which a belt and a pulley is used to rotate the drum. This other is a direct drive inverter washing machine. Both the washing machine's balancing systems are different from one another. The drive washing machine motor is installed at the back over here. It has no belt or pulley. This is also possible the washing machine has a belt and pulley and it could be an inverter washing machine. The direct drive washing machines are empty from the top. The motor is installed here, and for balancing the drum, weight is installed in the front of the drum. This is the first weight, and over here is the second weight installed. Other than this, metal springs are used for expansion purposes. It also absorbs the movement of the drum when the drum is moved downward. This is the second spring installed on the other side of the drum. The weight is installed on the top of the drum to balance the drum of this washing machine because the motor in this washing machine is installed beneath the drum. That is why the weight is kept at the top of the drum to balance the drum. This weight is a cement block. Metal springs are also installed in this washing machine for expansion. This washing machine is 100% drier, but the weight installed in this washing machine is less. Now, this is another direct drive inverter washing machine. But not a 100% drying system is installed in this washer. That is why weight is installed at the back of the drum. The direct drive motor is obviously installed in it. It has been balanced from the front by putting weight on it. I have disassembled the washer from the front. Weights are installed at the front of both sides of the drum. When the drum rotates at very high speeds, the weight on the front is handy for balancing the drum in the center. Shocks are also installed in this washing machine to balance the drum. When the drum moves, the shocks go back and forth, which also helps to align the drum. It is an essential part of the washing machine balancing system. If this part goes bad, the balance of the washing machine drum goes out. The shock absorbers are installed on this left side. One shock absorber is installed on the right side of the drum. I am moving the drum so you can see the shock. Different companies use different techniques for balancing the drum. The balance system of this washer has gone bad. The balancing system in this washing machine is completely different from the washing machine I showed you. The weight is installed at the top of the drum in this washer. The weight is installed at the bottom of the drum to balance the washer accurately because the motor in it is installed at the bottom of the drum. As I am moving the drum, you can feel that the drum is vibrating unusually than a normal drum. The springs in this washing machine seem to have stretched from their normal tensile strength. The same condition is of the second spring. The reason why the washing machine goes off balance is when this block breaks. With it, if the block at the bottom breaks. But if the weight is made of plastic like this, then there is less chance that the washing machine is off balance due to the weight. The weight made with cement usually breaks, making the washing machine out of balance. But in this washing machine the weights are good, let me show you its problem. The bracket over here has broken in this washing machine. The bracket on the other side has been completely broken. And that is why the balance of the washing machine has gone out. The shock absorber jammed. Due to this, it has gone out of balance. These shock absorbers should move back and forth, as the shock absorbers of this washing machine. The other reason is if the drum bearing gets loose or the drum has a lot of play. Still, it causes such a problem. I will remove this pulley now. I will make this drum out of the washer body to fix the bearings of this drum. I already had removed this drum from the washing machine. The problem with this drum is that its cement block has already been broken. I have made a mold for creating a new cement block. These cement blocks are unrepairable. This mold is capable of making a specific design of cement block. I will make this cement block and put it on the drum. I think the bolts that were installed to hold the cement blocks got loose after the vibration. I will repair this drum too. As I already showed I am fixing the cement block. Now this drum is of a very different washing machine which I had removed. This drum is of an LG washing machine. The spider that fits at the back has been completely damaged, due to which the drum of this washer was unbalanced. The rest of the function of the washing machine was working fine. And the owners of this washing machine kept cleaning clothes in this drum. 
due to the unbalanced rotation of this drum inside the plastic drum. The drum has made a circular crease inside the plastic drum. Which means, it is completely damaged. These are the things which makes a washing machine drum go unbalanced. And repairing these will make the washer fix. If you bought a completely new washing machine, it doesn't work fine and is unbalanced. The reason for that is the legs of the washing machine. If these legs are not balanced properly, then the washing machine goes unbalanced. I have put the machine upside down to show you why the new washer goes unbalanced due to its legs. The washing machine has adjustable legs, which can be adjusted according to the place it is kept in. When you will adjust it, the washing machine will not unbalance. As I am rotating this leg clockwise, it is opening because a chuck nut is installed at the top of the leg, if this chuck nut is not present for any reason. The bolt with this adjustable leg will not work fine. If you still adjust it without the chuck nut, the washing machine will again unbalance after some days. Suppose I need the leg of the bolt to be adjusted here. I am rotating the chuck nut clockwise to tighten the adjustable bolt. After tightening the chuck nut, the adjustable bolt has been tightened. Now, after adjusting the bolts according to your requirements, the washing machine will not unbalance. The legs of the washing machine make it unbalanced if it is new. At last, I will give you some bonus tips, which will decrease the chances of the washer going unbalanced. Always keep the clothes in the washer one by one when using your washer to clean them, if you put the clothes in the drum all together, the clothes will not clean properly as well, and it makes the drum unbalanced. This makes the washing machine drum go bad quickly. Click on the left or right thumbnail to watch our next videos, and subscribe. Thank you.